train station, that's where the best meat pies are. I went to the train station and then from there I'm like, but what do I do now? I have a whole day to do nothing. And somebody told me about uh, the Lamington National Forest. Oh, I went out there on the way down, I saw the sign to Corumbin. I drove down the Gold Coast, went down into Corumbin. There was a beautiful zoo out there. Yes. So working at the aquarium, I went to the zoo, I went to Corumbin Sanctuary, then I went out in the night, I went out to Lamington um, National Park looking for uh, leaf tail geckos. Okay. Yeah. And um, that was an experience. That was really beautiful. But yeah, yeah it's very beautiful. I can't get enough of Australia. You've sort of got the, well, where I am, you've got the ocean, the yeah. beautiful east coast, and the headland of Burley. And then out the back, you've got these national parks like Lamington, Tambourine. That Gold Coast Highway is a remarkable place for me because it's got a brand new, what I believe is a brand new species of black and python that lives out there. And they come out because the birds come and nest on the other side of the highway, on the inland side of the highway, and the blackhead python feed on birds, and it's a miniature python. It's only about four and a half feet long, whereas the other pythons in Queensland and Northern Territory go up to about nine feet. So I am trying to, I'm trying to find some of these pythons and get a better look at them and get some blood. I will let you know if I see what I think might be one. I'll try and yeah, the, the, document the beautifully it. Beautifully coloured, really nice, really small animals, and yeah, it's a it's also a nice place. It's a yes. nice place. It's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And it's, yeah. it's, it's so normal to go into any of those you parks want to, want and enjoy see a snakes. Place. One of the places to be is in Australia. Yeah, yeah. everyone. Got everything, a little bit of everything on there. Well, I think yeah, and that's sort of in a way with this one. Work. I've tried to represent the diversity of landscapes I, 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 in a sense. But that's almost yeah, impossible to do though, yeah. isn't it? I mean, because it's not really a visual, it's more of a topographical aspect. Yeah, but I guess through the use of colour mostly. Mm -hmm. So to represent like our national parks and then here I was thinking about ideas of lake air, so isolated lakes. It's like this miracle of... I could be Australia to be something really authentic because I can get local stuff, I can get the Asian stuff, I can get uh, Indonesian stuff, whatever you want. If you're into foods, you're into wines, you're into anything, you can get everything and it is not watered down because you have the real McCoy coming into Australia and doing things. So if you want Asian food, you want Thai food, Indian food, it's the most perfect place to get it. But how is that compared to the DC region? We do have Thai food DC here as well. has an American population that can't handle spices, but in their mind, they love it. And they like to hear about it. They like to hear all the beautiful things about it, but they can't tolerate it. So what happens? There are exceptions to the rule. I have seen. No, okay, there are exceptions, but by in general, mm -hmm. the restaurants have to tone everything down mm -hmm. for their population, mm -hmm. for their for their guests. Mm -hmm. And so you don't get the true McCoy here. I'm going to see how you can handle hot wings. I'm going to take you to a place called Fuel Pizza, right near 16th and K, and I want to see how you handle their hot wings. I am. Um, from Trinidad and my I wife will tell you I want to see it I make my own hot sauce I because see everything it. I get here is not hot enough I want to see you I want to see it I'll tell you what